When it comes to transporting goods, efficiency is critical. Different modes of transportation use different technologies to help them go further on less. But what about using natural forces to boost fuel efficiency? I'm Wayne Kennedy, a fuel efficiency expert for railroads. I formed and led a fuel conservation group for over 10 years at a large class one railroad, saving them hundreds of millions of gallons of diesel fuel. Now as a consultant, I help other railroads in their fuel savings and greenhouse gas emissions reduction journey. Inland waterway transportation, like barges on rivers such as the Mississippi, may seem slow moving, especially when they're loaded and moving upstream. However, there's a surprising efficiency at play here. When a barge travels downstream, it benefits from the natural flow of the river, with the current doing most of the work. This allows the tugboats guiding the barges to exert minimal effort, almost like riding on a conveyor belt. But here's the catch. When the same barge needs to return upstream, it has to fight against a strong current. This requires a significant amount of energy and fuel. In fact, pushing loaded barges downstream can be twice as fuel efficient as pushing empty barges upstream due to the force of the current. It's a constant battle against gravity, similar to the challenges faced by heavy haul mining railroads. In Northwestern Australia, where railroads transport resources downhill from mines to ports, the return journey uphill presents a similar energy challenge. To address this, Australian mining railroads are exploring innovative solutions, such as what they euphemistically term the Infinity Train. The concept of the Infinity Train will have a battery electric locomotive that will use gravity on downhill sections of the route to generate electricity to fully recharge the battery while moving loaded cars to the port. Then they use this stored energy to power themselves back uphill when hauling empty wagons back to the mine site. The Infinity Train was announced in 2022 by mining giant Fortescue Metals Group, who committed to be net zero in their terrestrial operations, meaning not including ocean shipping, by 2030. They have the impressive goal to completely wean themselves off of diesel fuel in all of their operations. Regenerative braking, in other words, using the kinetic energy created by braking, is used by electrified commuter lines all around the world, but not at this scale. The mine and port geography in Western Australia is relatively unique. This groundbreaking technology could, in the long term, revolutionize the efficiency of heavy haul railroads. Railroads that are regularly transporting 30,000 ton trains of ore up mountainous terrain. In the quest for fuel efficiency, every innovation counts, whether it's leveraging natural forces or pioneering new technologies. The goal remains the same, to transport goods sustainably and efficiently, shaping the future of transportation.